Karate Tutorial. Transforming Experience, Presenting Opportunities. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to find an alternative solution to less secure apps access is no longer available. You might have seen my video about the Outlook error while configuring the Gmail account. This one. This video was about Outlook error Gmail configuration. So we used to go to allow secure apps so we could uh, log into Outlook by our Gmail. But now this feature is not available anymore. So what is the alternative solution? First, let's go to Outlook and configure our Gmail account. Then I will show you the alternative solution. When you add an account to your Outlook, so you write your name, email address, you put the password, you click on next, so we go back, open your email, so I log in with that email, so I go to manage your Google account, go to the security, and you scroll down, here on the signing in to Google, it shows password, use your phone to sign in to a step verification and the to step verification there should be app password. But here it is not showing how to bring the app password. Click on the to step verification, click on get started. Here you have to enter your password. Here you have to give your number. So I choose the text message, click on next. I got the verification code, click on next. Click on turn on. Here, go back to the Twister verification page. So now you see there is a password. It is showing here. Click on this, enter your password. Here first select your device, Windows computer and here you should select the other customs and write Outlook, generate, Just copy the app password and go to your Outlook, paste the password here, click on next. Now it's all done, click on finish. Now if you don't like to turn on the two-step verification, you can turn it off and your Outlook will work without two-step verification. Click on two-step verification, give your password. Click on turn off. Now you come down, there is not a password showing here. You will not be bothered whenever you sign into your Google account. So it needs verification or needs a code that goes to your mobile phone and you have to write down the code. If it bothers you, you can turn off the two-step verification. Now let's go to the Outlook, let's see if it is working. I close it, I open the Outlook again. You see guys, it is still working and you see send in receive is ongoing. That's it guys. If you have any questions, comments or any video idea, please write down in the comment section of this video. I will answer your questions, appreciate your comments or create a video for you. If you are new and like similar videos in the future, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye.